are you the one who loves applying blushers but at the same time you're scared as well because you don't know which color will suit you and what color will make you look that you are really blushing but not like you know you have put something on your face that makes you look like you are blushing and it looks very fake if you want to know a perfect blusher for yourself and would like to master the techniques and you know how to apply which tool to use this is the video which will clear all your doubts around blushers and I'm sure that you'll end up having a best blusher for yourself and in this video I'll also share the right product the right tool the right technique and with all these three together you will definitely achieve that look which will make you look that you're actually blushing but not looking fake Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Miss Harsha. My name is Harsha. I'm a professional makeup artist and educator. I'm also an aromatherapist, cosmetologist and a makeover consultant as well. In this video, as you already know that I will be taking you on a journey to have a flawless face with blusher and with the correct tools and techniques i'll be guiding you step by step to follow and if you watch this video till the end you will definitely be the master for yourself and how to apply blusher and which blusher you should buy and how to use it and all of that so without wasting any further time let's get started with the video and i'll exactly show you how to identify the right color and how to exactly use the blusher on yourself and look like that you're actually blushing okay so let's get started so the first myth I would like to clear in this video before moving ahead is every blusher shade is different and when you go to buy a blusher mostly I have seen people that you know in their personal kits because I do a lot of makeup kit consultancy personally for people as well so I have seen that when I analyze their kit I have seen that you know they have very dark shade of blushers because and when I ask them why you have chosen this shade they tell that you know other blushers don't look like they have a color but this seemed very nice to me and I thought it will look nice but whenever I apply I end up looking too much so of course I know why they experience that and that's what I am addressing in this video so whenever you buy any blusher I'll not go into pro things in this video because I want to make it very you know very simple and easy for you to get you know the idea around the correct blusher shades for yourself so for example if you are someone who has a fair skin tone like you know European fair and you know too fair who, with a pink undertone a color like this this is from color bar so this is a very light you know baby pink color very light like I don't think I can swatch and show it's very very light but one thing which nobody has told you with blushers is whatever the color is whenever you apply the color on your face because you have a foundation a layer of foundation and you know concealer and powder and all that there is already a pigment you know there is already color on that okay so when you apply the same shade you never have that same shade on your cheeks how it happens because the color of the foundation has that yellowness yellow pigments in it and when that yellow pigment blends with the pink color this color only you know tends to get little darker and the exact color on your cheeks will be different from the color which is there in the palette okay so this is one thing which I know that nobody shares but yes this I when I actually checked a lot of people's kit I came to know that okay this information has to go out so this is something which you have to remember so whenever just to simplify this I'll tell you whenever you are going to buy any blusher make sure that whatever color you pick it will turn at least one to two shade darker when you apply on the cheeks depending on the formulation different brands have different formulations they have different intensity of pigments so of course that is a factor again but just for a general knowledge make sure that and if you can actually apply and see how it is looking nothing best than that okay so whenever you buy this like for example technically this shade cannot go on my skin okay because as an Indian I have a yellow undertone I'm actually basically neutral undertone so I have pink and I have yellow as well in my skin tone but the skin tone I have okay this color will not show up on my skin which is technically said okay but when I use this blusher of course I have to apply little more than other colors but it comes in it gives me a very very light flush of color and whenever I want to look very fresh but not you know it's like 
I don't want to show any color on my cheeks but still there should be you know that little hint of that natural blush feel then I use this color and it looks fabulous on my face and as I said it gets blended with the foundation pigments the color turns little different and whatever color it comes out at the end I love that okay so this is something on a general note if you are someone who have fair skin tones with you know you look little pink and reddish naturally your skin tone has that feel the color then this is a kind of color you can go the details of the shade and everything I'll drop down in the description box below you can check from there so let's now talk about the second color which is again from color bar and it's my favorite as well so this is so I have actually chosen three different colors and all of these three have different tones okay so the first one which I have shown you is of course pink it's like a white whitish pink okay so this is a pure pink light pink now let's talk about the second one so second one color which I have chosen for this video is actually a blend of pink and peach okay so it's a very subtle and it's one of my favorite colors I really love this color so this is something which is very you know pink plus peach and this goes very well for people with fair undertones uh, you know skin tones and people like me with medium fair undertones and skin tones and this is something which uh, you know if you don't want to you know experiment a lot and if you want very little hint of color on your cheeks without going wrong without going you know over the top then this is a very very safe choice and this will actually and you know what this shade it's very buildable okay so whenever you apply you can apply light even if you want little dark it will not look like dark I hope you can understand okay so this is a very perfect shade which is a blend of peach and pink and this will go with any of your outfits so you don't have to buy too many shades and you know like that so this is a very safer choice you can go for this the second number I'll drop down the details in the description box below so you can check it out from there now let's talk about the third shade so the third shade which I have selected is again from color bar and this shade is very coral okay coral so this is a very peachish coral shade and it is little darker as you have seen that so this is the first one okay this is the second one and this is the third one okay just see once and then I'll explain you the difference and how it is different from each other so the first one I told you it's a pink one the second is a peach and pink blend but it is very light and the third one is actually coral so the coral one this one is good for people who have medium to dark skin tones okay so it's very safe to use I also and by the way I use all of these three shades and I know it will be a shock for you that how one skin tone can apply all the three shades because of the quantity I take. So for example, if I am using this blusher, I apply it at least 6-7 times to get the color. Okay. If I am using this, maybe I will apply it 3-4 to four times to get the color. And when I use this, this is very pigmented. Okay the same brand okay but the every color you know the formulations change it also had little bit of glitter particles but that is not visible once you apply so I'll not mention that that it has it will give you that shimmery effect because it has very little glitter particles and it is something which will not show on your face once you apply so this is a shade which I use very little on my brush and I blend it blend it and it gives me a perfect color but if I take this blusher the way I take other colors it will stain my cheeks and look over the board okay so with blushers first thing which you have to remember if you want to go on a safer side buy something which is light in color which normally people don't do people buy the darker shades because they think that itna dark hoga tabhi to cheeks par aiga, okay so that is not the fact second thing you have to take care is the brush you are using so mostly see guys I'll tell you one thing as a professional makeup artist and as an educator I educate a lot of you know conduct a lot of professional classes and personal self makeup courses I have seen that people will buy you know most of the cases people buy expensive foundations ex expensive eyeshadow palettes and all that and but when I suggest them to buy you know good quality brush they feel like oh the brushes are very expensive but trust me no matter how good your product is if you're not using the right tool to apply the product you will never get the desired results and that's my challenge to you so if you don't want to waste your money by buying the correct product but not 
having that correct product on your face then do buy good tools and good brushes for brushes also i'll uh, give the details in the description box below so you can check it out which br brushes actually I use and I also suggest as well to my students and my clients so you can of course check out that so what you have to do is so I'm taking this brush and this is very soft and this is real hair brush okay you can also if you are a person who loves vegan things then you can go for that as well so what you have to do is you have to apply the blusher very nicely okay so what I'll do I'll actually apply this shade on one of my cheeks and I'll apply this shade on one of my cheeks and I'll show you how exactly I'm applying both of them and how what, like how much quantity I'm exactly taking so that you can get the difference that which shades and see with brands it differs okay there are a lot of brands whose blushes are so pigmented that once you touch the brush you're good to go okay but there are brands which you have to take three four times and then it will pay off the color so it doesn't matter okay like it's just how much amount you're taking with different different products and brands and formulations okay so let's begin with the procedure so I just took this brush and now what I'll do I'll just take this blusher as I have showed you and I will apply it and I'll show you how you have to use and also do keep an eye on my hand movements because that will actually ensure you to learn better and it will actually take care of your desired results and give you that desired results which you want after seeing this video. So I'm first applying the lighter shade, the second shade which I told you. So I'll just take the blusher. Now how you have to take it, that is also important, okay? So you'll just dip the brush like this, okay? So whatever amount it comes, never drag the brush, okay? When with blushers, the less is more. In fact, in makeup, everything, the less is more. But in blusher, it's very specific that you have to just dip like this but don't you know scratch the blusher okay so i've already taken now just with light hands i'll just place the blusher on my cheek area like this so i am not sure how much it will show in the camera and see you can take three four times later on as well okay it doesn't matter but don't take you know at a go and you just feel like you know just take it at once and apply it no don't do like that okay so just take it once more and I'll just put that and at the same time I'll just use this vibrating motion to blend that once I have put and placed the exact blusher in the areas then I'll just take it to the upwards and I'll just with light hands, feather light strokes, I'll blend the blusher. Don't bring the blusher till here, okay? You just have to, I'm taking a little more and just applying here, okay? So a lot of people have seen they use this stroke like this. It it will never help. It will look like that you are doing too much, but it won't help, okay? So I have just taken a little bit and then blended it so yeah uh, I don't know whether it is showing or not but this is what I usually wear on a regular basis and this much is good enough for me okay now I also wear the second shade like which is the third one which I recommended this one so now I'll use this one and I'll show you exactly how it looks on this cheek but I'll take very less okay I'll just dip once twice that's it and I'll place the product Okay, and then I'll blend it. So if you see that I have just touched it twice and it has given me the color. So because it was so pigmented that I got the color in just you know two dips and this I took quite a time. So it doesn't matter okay it's because of the formulation and the color okay it's nothing like it's a bad quality or a good quality it's just how much pigment goes in which color. So of course this is darker so it has more pigment and the color this is a lighter color it has less pigment so it is nothing like that that is good or bad but yeah I will just dip once again in the darker color and I'll just put once more so that you can see the color actually so 
so yeah this is the difference i just hope that it's just visible on camera so this is very light okay and in camera it looks very light but in real it's perfect for me and this is something which is perfect for me but in camera it may look little dark so this is how i apply so now as you see that you know i have applied the blusher so fast this video was not like i have cut the slides and all it was so fast it is so super blended you will not see any lines and all it's just like you know looking like i'm blushing naturally and it's so natural okay so how it was possible of course the product was nice but at the same time i was using the right quality of brush which made the entire process very flawless very easy and very fast okay i don't have to invest 5 minutes on each of my cheeks to apply the blusher correctly and to blend it properly because if you are using a wrong quality brush when you apply a blusher you know you blend it so much that your foundation and the entire base also comes off from that area and i have literally seen that okay that's why i'm telling you a light fluffy good quality brush will always help you to achieve the desired results along with the good quality product okay so this is very important so i hope you can see the difference this is little pinkish and peachish and this is little coral this side and at the same time uh, you know the tool was very important and the technique i hope you have actually seen how i was using the brush so use that way only and where you apply the blusher okay as you see that i have very prominent cheeks okay so it it is easy for me to know that okay i have to apply here but if you don't have cheeks it doesn't matter your blusher will be always from you know this the outer corner of your eyes just exactly this point is the like kind of the central point for your blusher okay so you'll start from here and you'll take it upwards in the outer side of your cheeks it will give you a very elongated and sharp effect and then later on once you complete applying the blusher you will just blend it properly and while blending it will come little like it will provide you that gradient effect okay and i really hope that you can see the effect and the finish of the blusher i really hope that you got the clarity which you were looking for before buying a blusher for yourself and yes you can look beautiful with a blusher if you buy the right shade for yourself and i have exactly guided you which kind of shade you can buy and nowadays there in all the cosmetic counters and drug store counters you will find an assistance there and you can apply it and check and one more tip before you you know actually apply and check that if you are not having any base makeup on your face the blusher will not apply nicely to the direct you know direct on your skin and it even if it gets applied it will not look the same the way uh, the color actually differs as i told you the foundation pigments get mixed with the you know blusher pigments and it looks different so go with your base makeup done and then try the blusher then you will get that exact color for yourself this is a huge tip because people when they go for cosmetic shopping they just go bare face and they try blusher directly on the bare skin uh it will look different okay with makeup it looks different without makeup it looks different and accordingly just test that with or without makeup whatever you desire the finished result to look like and if you like the video and the content and if you have any questions around it you can always check the description box and after that if you have anything just comment down in the comment section below i would love to answer and address your queries as well and you can subscribe the youtube channel if you like the video share with your friends whoever is very very fond of blushers but kind of very scared when it comes to applying you can actually be a contribution and make them actually blush after applying the blusher and make them happy right just as share away and you can actually make your friend happy so yes and you can also follow me on my instagram handle this is my instagram handle where these days i'm sharing lot of makeovers of college students and real life people i'm just giving them the makeover and the transformation so if you are interested in seeing that you can follow me on my instagram handle as well and you can see my makeup and other things there and at the same time you can enroll for any of my upcoming courses to get notified for that do follow me on instagram because i update everything on my insta stories so you can always be updated from there and i really hope that you try this technique and and buy your blusher after watching this video and do share how was your experience after you watching this video with blushes okay so till then stay happy stay beautiful